Hi all, and welcome to Fun with Drilling Engineering. Today we want to talk about the mud circulation system. Today's oil and gas wells are often many miles deep, and at the very bottom of the borehole is a drill bit that breaks the rock. And the cuttings that are created have to be carried out of the borehole somehow, otherwise the drill string will get stuck. So we pump a liquid, the drilling mud, through the entire drill string down to the bottom. The mud comes out of nozzles at the bottom of the pit and goes back up to the surface in the annulus between the drill string and the borehole. And in the process, it carries the cuttings with it. And we want to reproduce this in a little experiment. We have a drill string here. This is a glass tube that reaches down to the bottom as in a cylinder. That is the borehole. And down below, the blue glittery stuff, that's the drill cuttings. And we're trying to flush that out of the borehole. You can see here that you have to pump a whole lot of mud. Otherwise, it won't work. But we managed to clean the borehole. Real cuttings are naturally much coarser and heavier than this glitter. And that's why we don't use clear water as drilling fluid. It does not have enough carrying capacity. Instead, we use viscous mud, which can carry the cuttings much better. And for this mud to be pumped effectively, we need real big mud pumps with thousands of horsepower, which are placed on the drilling rig, and they pump the mud up into the tower, down through the drill string, into the borehole, and out through the annulus again, and the cuttings then flow through this channel with the mud. And on the screens, the cuttings are separated from the mud and go back into the next mud circuit. Yeah! And if you want to know more about this, you are welcome to come to our lecture on the basics of drilling engineering. We are looking forward to seeing you all here in Freiberg. Glück auf!